Hey, Jim, does the Snuggie and the ShamWow come with a certificate of authenticity? It should. Let me lay that out for you quickly. As I mentioned, we're still a few weeks away from what might be the ultimate battle for alpha male supremacy, Kobe v. LeBron. In the meantime, though, you've got this epic brawl raging off to the side. The Snuggie v. the ShamWow. Now, there's a sports angle in this. Wait for it. The Snuggie and the ShamWow for infomercial supremacy. And look, I'll admit it. I love infomercials. Maybe they're not technically infomercials. But if you've got a problem with infomercials, you have a problem with yourself. And this is the fight of the century. In this corner, ShamWow Vince. Rocking the headset, pimping a slap chop, and a rag that could soak up the entire Pacific Ocean. In this corner, the snuggied up Jedi monks with their checkerboards, paperbacks, campfires, and free book lamps that come with every single order. And no sooner than the refs say, all right, keep it clean, touch gloves, come out fighting. The Snuggie lands a haymaker. A new line of NCAA logoed Snuggies. Now it's a blanket with arms. I mean, already the best idea ever. A blanket with arms and an Alabama logo. Or Ohio State. Or Florida. I'm telling you, Vince. ShamWow Vince. You better start throwing punches and defending yourself. And fire back or they're going to stop this fight. Because you know that these things are on back order already. Combine the two things that Americans are most obsessed with, blankets that you can wear, and your college football team. And somebody's getting rich, really rich. Words of the wise, though. Do not go into somebody else's house representing an enemy Snuggie, unless you want to get knocked out. An Auburn fan rolling into Bama's house in his hooded, tiger blanket is going to get hurt ball is in your court ShamWow Vince better get on the blower with your team of elite German engineers and knock out some NFL logoed ShamWows stat because the Amish rolling electric fireplace folk have probably, probably already locked down the rights to WWE you know NASCAR wants some of that you know, NASCAR is looking to throw its logo on that money clip that won't scratch even in the blender, which is good to know because I can't say how many times my money clip has ended up in a blender. If I'm you, Vince, I'm lobbing a telephone call right now to Tim Fincham and the PGA Tour. That way, the next time somebody goes party foul and spills the entire bowl of fruit punch on your carpet, you can save the day with your Phil Mickelson chamois. That's genius. The only thing more intelligent than a blanket that you can wear is throwing your favorite team's logo on it. Now you can be buried in your licensed coffin with your logoed, logoed Snuggie. I mean, you can't tell me that in the dead of winter, there will not be stadiums filled with people wearing their logo blankets. It's brilliant. It's brilliant in its simplicity and it's brilliant the amount of money they're going to make off that. It's awesome. An Alabama blanket that you can wear. Wish I thought of it. Someone's getting rich. Ball's in your court, Vince. Now what? Better slam a Dodger logo on that shopping device you have. Or Manny's face on a slap chop. I'd buy one of those. A slap chop with man ram on it. Hey, where did I leave my man ram slap chop? I've got some garlic I've got to shred. Got to dice these walnuts. Where's my Tony Stewart slap chop? Trailblazer fan, we're about to.